There is no beginning. There is no end. There is only... There is only the infinite passion of life. be the whole movie. I've, I've been wanting to be a filmmaker for a while now. Um, I've got ideas I want to express and I feel like there's no better way to express them th than through film, you know? Because I've tried through writing, through, through poems or different like, you know, vignettes or whatever, but there's no real connection then through film because when a director shows you what they want you to see, you, you see what they want you to see and or see, you see what they want you to hear. And I feel like there's no stronger connection than through the creator and through the audience member. And to have that connection, it just, you know, makes it strong. Um, I'm known in my class to take over the group, which, which I get, I do, you know, do that, but I'm trying to get better, so. How much of the story do you already have? I've got most of it. I've got the ba basic plot, I've got a few characters, I've got how to get the viewer hooked, but I don't know the ending. And that's where I am. It, it, it just needs to be written on paper. So, uh, the story is that there's this kid, Stephen. Uh, he, he's tired of going to school every day, of, of living the same repetitive lifestyle. So, this is where it opens. He's, um, he's in the principal's office, and he's getting expelled for something. It's not said exactly what, but you know it's bad. And, um, so he gets expelled okay. and, um, after the title sequence, he's shown at his house, um, and he does his daily morning routine, mm -hmm. you know, getting out of bed, yeah, brushing his teeth, uh, play, playing games, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Um, and it, and he leaves, and it cuts to him in the park with his friend. Mm -hmm. And they talk about what he did, why he did it. Um, and he says that it's because he wanted to escape the monotony of life. Mm -hmm. And he realizes that he escaped school, but he didn't escape the same loops of his daily life. He's still you know, going to his job, to his work, and just a loop of that. And he's still in the same yeah. monotonous life. And it just cut, it just cuts and, and ends. Then, and then it ends. All right. Well, what if it's like his friend is also like continuously trying to help him out, give him advice to get rid of this cycle, but well, like, he, he like, turns it down, kind of like... Like he's his own worst enemy. Yeah. I, I don't know. That's, it's, it's... It's it's a little cliche, and it, I don't know if that's, m like, my message, you mm -hmm. know? And I want it to be like, you can't escape the monotonous life. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. There's this theory that directors just make the same movies, but with different variables. Like, oh, what's his name? Uh... Damien Chazelle with Whiplash or La La Land or or, or um or Michael Bay, you know Adam Sandler. Uh, you, I guess you could make the argument with Tim Burton, but I think I want to make introspective, you know, short little videos about my life and about others and almost like show them through a distorted lens, through a real, almost fictional lens, point of view. Yeah. Yeah.
Uh, and then the next scene is going to be you at the park with your friend. Mm -hmm. um, and she's going to leave, and you just stand there watching her like you can't do anything. And that's where it ends. What change have I gone through, though? Like, what shows that I escaped the repetitiveness? Well, I think that's kind of the point. Like, you didn't escape repetitiveness, and you can't, like, escape monotony in real life. I think your audience is going to reject that, though. I think they want to see a change in their characters. Well, that would be so disingenuous of me to just lie to the audience. And not, not everything can get resolved. It, so life is always fighting you. And to just resolve it like that, it would be so false. It, would, it wouldn't be true. So it's not, it's not a film, it's just the truth. Well, it, it's reality. Life is what it is. And to say something else other than that, to just wrap it up in a single solution, to have that life-changing moment where you realize one simple thing, it would be a lie. Mm -hmm. it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be real. Well, film, by its nature, is disingenuous. It's escapism. People want to see themselves in the characters, then they want to see those characters succeed. And if, if they don't see that, they don't feel good about themselves or the movie, so they'll reject it. I, I, I just wish you told me this, that you had an objection earlier. So, I want to reshoot everything, uh, basically trash all I've got so far. I think I have to be the main actor this time. Um, this time, I want to open on him going to school, and as he's walking down the hallway, he'll look into the camera and just have a snap, and then he'll be in the principal's office. And then he'll be back at home, you know, doing his daily mor morning routine again. And then he'll be going to work. And just a loop of that. And then he'll snap again. I don't know how to end it. Nothing that I come up with feels like it fits. Like... It feels like a completely different intent than I originally wanted. I think it's because I'm limiting myself to one character when I'm trying to represent the world as a whole. What if I just showed like a bunch of daily objects that we take for granted and just show them back to back? Like there's no beginning, no middle, no end, no characters, just rapid shots of everything and nothing and just show them in rapid succession all back to back what if there was like just to end it just a 30 second shot of the sky and then I'll have me recording the video Stand back there. Back. Back. No, no. Come, come forward. To, to your, to your left. Okay. A little to the right. Close. No, no. Back. No, back. Uh, did you move that glass? Uh, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was dirty. Dude, what the? F it, it's fine. Just, just warn me next time because. This scene needs to be perfect, and this glass needs to be full, and this needs to be empty. Just, just ask me before next time, okay? Okay, sorry. How's the video coming? I think I want to take a look at the footage.
Hey man, how are you? I'm trying. I'm trying. Is there anything I can do for you? Is there anything I can get you? Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's still pretty upset. Yeah, I think he'll be okay. No, we'll, we'll still have a movie. I know there's a deadline, just, just give him some time. All right. All right, bye. Johnny? Johnny? Yeah, so I don't know where he is. Um, do, do you know where we would find him? Do you know where he goes? Okay. All right. Johnny? Johnny? Guess I'll go look outside. 